Hello, and welcome back to Fallout 4, where we continue with exploration of the Diamond City. It's going to be our third episode here, right? Um, yeah, Colonial Tap House. We are more or less done with the market. Easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, God damn it. You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch. Don't hurt him, Henry. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy, taking care of our son. Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? You come here often? As often as I can. Henry is so good at listening to my troubles. Troubles? What would you know about that? Now, can I get you something to drink? So is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. Sure, let's take a look. Bottoms up. Do you happen to have... Yes, you do. I decided to... not be... too uptight about stuff and just buy a uh, call for hey. the guy You're below. You're the only spot worth going to around here. Isn't it fabulous? Sitting up here in the stands? Oh, you'll get addicted to it. Okay, you... A very unpleasant woman. Uh. <clears throat> <laughs> you just walked right up into the stands, didn't you? I like your stones. Okay. Excuse me. Are you lost? Hey there. Why, hello there. So lovely to see more young people up here in the stands. We're all so, well, old. <laughs> Okay. I believe those are just houses of those people, right? This was Hawthorne, but he's like in uh, uh, in the Bob Bobrov Brothers residence. Dugout in, yeah, and there's uh, other people residences. Got it. You need something, Scaver? Child kidnapped. Father Bray's dangers of the Commonwealth to find missing son. You're getting pretty chummy with that reporter, huh? Be careful then. The mayor's got it. Thirsty. Coca-Cola. <laughs> Protection from Commonwealth weaponry. Here you go. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. Charitable of you. That's the right word, yes? Well, hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You... you mean it? 
What do you say? I uh, did not expect this, but sure. Okay, maybe this will be a fresh start. You there! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Oh, really? What kind of teams were there? There was the Diamond City Demolishers. Big brutes of guys. Uh, played in full power armor with special pneumatic arms you know, for swinging. Then you had the Lexington Ladies, an all-female team, with Coach Bloody Mary Sue at the helm. Highest kill count in the league! Ha, I could spend all day talking about the Concord Crushers ooh, or the Quincy Killmeisters, but you get the idea. Uh, it was a hell of a sport. Okay. Whatever you say. Well, believe it or don't believe it. You'll be convinced once you swing a swatter into someone's face. Uh, how about you buy one today? Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting his for punks Westing, had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? 100 caps seems light. I need more. <laughs> I like your moxie. We'll make it 125 caps apiece. How's that sound? Mm -hmm. that. Please. You own a whole store. You can do better. Look at that fire in your eyes. <clears throat> All right. 150 caps for each piece. And you better be worth it. Deal. Now, I upped my charisma, right? You're holding out on me, Mo. Come on. Show me you're serious. Oh, if only Ice Ice Julie could see that steely gaze of yours. <laughs> she might have finally met a match. You win oh, 200 caps each. But that's my final offer. You taken or leaving? A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball, thank you. Hey, you there. I, um, I have a question for you. What do you want? You were in the tap house before, when... You and the bartender got in a fight. Nice of you to call it a fight, but we both know what really happened. Cook kicked my ass. I'm supposed to pretend I don't know he's sleeping with my wife. Until he decides he's bored with her and she comes crawling back home to me. So, where do I come in? I'm going to go back and talk to him, and I want you to come with me. You saw? You won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him, I just want him to leave Darcy alone. Hmm. If you're just going to talk to him, why do you need me alone? I don't want to hurt Cook, but if he doesn't listen to me, I don't know what I might do. He won't dare act so smug when he sees you at my back, and then nobody has to get hurt. Okay, I'll help you. Okay, good, good. I'm sure Cook will back down once he sees you're with me. This will work better if I talk to Cook by myself. You're probably right. I am so angry at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy Damn and city booze. I'll make sure Cook gets the message. Good. Don't kill him if you don't have to, but otherwise, I don't care what you do to him. He deserves to suffer for what he's done. All right.
Read that interview we gave. That thing you said at the end about one day at a time. Vintage, book hey, up. you're that vault yeah. dweller from the paper. Hey. What do you want? Wait there. I will wait. It is safe here, yes? Beat it, pal. Get lost. I I don't I don't uh Okay. I usually don't oh, God. This is why. This is why. Hey there, pal. Oh. It's you. Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because... No. It is not. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Why not stand up to them? No. I mean... No. That would be bad. With these men, it could, well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't you want this to stop? Yes, but... Nothing will change unless you make it happen. It's not that bad. I can just, I can just, I can just deal with this. Don't be such a coward. I'm not a coward. Okay, that's... well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look Beat at it, you. Pal. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I... I mean it. Leave me alone! Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. Were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? I'll, I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. signed up for this ain't over you hear me hey I mean, I mean i mean hi again uh just buy or hi? sell whatever you need and hi. get lost travis whoa I, I can't believe it we did it how do you feel now i don't know i mean wow i just wow i never thought i could do uh, Anything like that? That was crazy! I think it's adrenaline talking right now. Hey, listen, I, uh... Thanks. That was, well, that was really something. I think maybe I should go lie down now. That would be for the best. <laughs> I think that went well! <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? Oh, it was just the first part? Bring it on. Good attitude. It's nice and easy. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Oh, that'll totally boost his confidence. You know, as long as it doesn't backfire horribly. So little faith. It will work. Trust me. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis. And this will all be worth it. 
And you and I never talked about this, all right? Oh, no. Whatever it is, keep it to yourself. Better that way. Got a reason for bothering me? Get lost. Hey, where is Scarlet, by the way? She's supposed to be somewhere around here, right? Well, I don't have any marker here, so she might, must be home, right? Hey, come on. You have marvelous bone structure. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. All right, there is another nighttime activity that I am considering doing. Hey, Polly. I didn't ask for company. Leave. That's outside of Diamond City, is it not? Yeah, it's true. I got shot in the ass last year. Long story. I must say, it's a very nice and lovely city. It has a certain charm to it, that's for sure. Need something, honey? Housing? You're still here, is she? That is most unfortunate. Because it is pretty late. Nothing to see here. And let's go to cook first. I can see people running around the place, so they must be changing their positions according like for the night time, right? Probably nothing, but some guy came into town, said he picked up a weird distress call and it came to the noise. I'll meet you there then. Don't be late. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. We need to talk, Cook. Oh, yeah? Is there some kind of problem? Are you sleeping with Paul Pembroke's wife? I really don't see what business it is of yours who I'm sleeping with. Do we really need to do this the hard way? I've left tougher than you bleeding in the dirt. You'd better turn yourself around before you find out what the hard way really means. Last chance. Are you gonna stay away from Darcy or not? Take it easy. We can talk this through. This whole thing with Darcy and me. Bad idea. I admit it. Not like I planned it or anything. She was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look. Can you stop Tell talking Paul to Cutie? It's over. I swear. 
I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? A promise to be good? That's your offer. You're right. It wouldn't be enough if I was in his shoes. I have an idea. Something I've been thinking about for a while already. Kill two birds with one stone, you know? This had better be good. Here's the deal. I have some other, um, businesses on the side. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. Who's Nelson Latimer? Malcolm's kid. An arrogant little pissant. But useful, since he has all the money in the world and likes to think of himself as a budding crime boss. Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. Hold on. I have some questions first. Yeah? What is it? Why smuggle chems into Diamond City? Chems aren't illegal here. Sure, but Mayor McDonough takes a big cut of all the chems brought into town. Not everybody thinks that's good business. That's where me and Nelson come in. He fronts the cash, I make the arrangements. Cheap chems for Diamond City. Everybody wins. Anything else? Why do you want to screw these guys over all of a sudden? Oh, it isn't all of a sudden. Nelson's been complaining about my cut for a while now. He may be thinking about trying to strike out on his own. I've been waiting for the right opportunity to present itself. And here it is. Anything else? What about afterwards? Won't everyone be after us? Come on. You know the answer. No witnesses. Anything else? That's it. Okay, so you're in then? I don't like illicit activities. I don't know. An awful lot of unknowns. Trust me, we can do this, no problem. The meeting's always in the same place. They always bring the same number of guys. They'll never know what hit them. So, my options are participate in this crap or kill the guy. I guess it's worth the risk. Let's do this. Now you're talking. I promise you won't regret it. In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. Yeah. I don't like it one bit. Heard there was some trouble over at that Vault 81. Something about a uh, quarantine? Do you want me to follow you right away? Now he continues on his own. You think it's something, honey? Housing pro Mayor McDonough. I have somewhere to be. Sorry. You really aren't going anywhere, are you?
I don't really like the fact that the security guard is here. Hold. If waiting is what's required. Okay. Fries. Not fries, not snare. No. No. Yes. Appointments. Um, okay, city council meetings. Not to Geneva. Clear my schedule of any council meetings for the foreseeable future. See this note from the last session. The city council meetings are suspended for the meantime until there is an emergency. The council expresses full confidence in the mayor's ability to handle all city business. Public currency reporter. Under no circumstances should Piper be allowed in this office. If she continues to press on this institute crusade of hers, there will be consequences. We need some way to curtail the paper's popularity with the people. That poison she's selling is turning everyone against each other, and I won't have it. Couriers. Please be sure to send any couriers from Mr. Ayo into my office as soon as they arrive. Also, our usual need for discretion in city affairs that goes double for this matter. Notes on city business. Water purifier. Security has petitioned me again about gaining control of the water purifier. They don't believe Shen Kowalski is up to the task. Nonsense, I say. The boy may be young, but free enterprise is an important part of our Diamond City way of life, and I won't have him inter interfered with. Yes, this concern, his concern for safety regulation is a bit lapsed, but that can be dealt with in the usual way. Security Office. Crime across the city is manageable. Need to remind all the security officers or new security officers to delay any investigations into kidnappings. We don't need to rouse further hysteria into the ridiculous notion that synths are replacing our citizenry. Why, there could be a panic at a critical moment. What if super mutants attacked and people were more concerned about who is a synth than protecting our city? No, this kind of talk needs to be suppressed at, as the sedition is it really is. Our noodles stand. Please respond to any petitioners about fixing Takahashi with this prepared statement. Takahashi is a Diamond City cultural institution and the mayor's office will not be responding to any notion that he is in need of repairs. While we understand that not everyone understands him as well as a born and bred Diamond City resident, we cannot allow such an iconic figure of our great city to be altered in any way. Uh, the war. My current draft of the speech that should settle things in the minds of the people, I'm sure of it. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the green great guardian behind me, the wall. Okay, yes, we kinda read this one. We heard this one. House foreclosure. I have been informed that the man living in the mostly abandoned West Stands has left Diamond City and will not be returning. Please go through the usual foreclosure procedures, then put a copy of his house keys in the safe. Was the password Ardvark? <laughs> Such a funny word. Okay, nothing about being a synth, so... Kind of slightly disappointing, but... Sweet. So again, nothing about any of them being synths.
Heads up. Just Moving out. Don't leave me here too long. I want to temporarily also. Oh, I can use the separate ones. Slightly disappointed to find nothing pointing at the synth. If there is any, well, we need to start with that, of course. Well, I check it, but it's kind of empty. Sad. Thank you. Miss? I'm on a break right now. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well... He was brave. Not exactly. But it wouldn't hurt to check on him to see how he's doing. Oh, you really think so? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. I believe majority of those other places are residences and like people I should talk with, right? I hear you've been asking questions around town. What? Diamond City's got two private dicks now? I'm thinking of renting a room again and uh, spending the night. This is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good. And look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. What are you talking about? I am talking about Vadim. They took him. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. Do you know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the one that uh, has always dealt with them. I've tried to avoid them. Travis might know. You should ask him, please. Hurry. I don't want anything to happen to Vadim. Oh crap. Cancel spending the night plans. We have a person in distress.
What's going on? Oh. Have you seen Vadim? He was grabbed at the dugout, and Yefim thought you might know where Bull took him. What? That's... that's not a funny joke. Like, at all. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh... oh man, wow, is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. Hmm. No, Travis, this is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. They have played us all the fool. Look, I don't, I don't really, I mean, I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing or in trouble or whatever, I'm gonna help get the voice back. acting is good. It's probably gonna be dangerous. I expect things will get ugly. I'm not... I, I'm not stupid. I know that. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and, and then we can bring Vadim back. And everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. Bintown Brewery. I did not expect you mentioning this one. Okay, it's getting a little bit stuffed here. How about we... This comes as, sur as a surprise. Does this mean that those guys um, with that reporter, huh? be there. might be related to like the Tower Tom and his uh, and his gang? <laughs> Imagine if they spend uh, their time Please here. Bring my brother back. Hey, Yefim. Need a room? Here's your money. Room two is yours. Enjoy. So yeah, uh, and then they uh, come back after their like break or whatnot, and they find uh, whatever mess I left there. It would be quite a surprise, I, I would assume. Interesting. What is it? Oh, like, involving him? Mm. After confronting Henry about his affair with Darcy, he offered to help ambush a camp deal he knows about. Not sure I want to involve this guy. Not sure at all. Things might go south there. If you don't live here, you ain't nobody. Got it? Okay, we got to remove that one. That is better. Now I believe I tried. Hey, ain't no shame in taking the occasional cap. I believe I tried talking to Abbott, but he was making an impression of being extremely busy. 
Don't need to be bothered. Abbott. Got work to do. Busy. Busy. Got work to do. Don't need to be bothered. Don't need to be bothered. Busy. Yeah, that's Abbott, but he doesn't want to... Yeah, okay. And I cannot... Yeah, I can. So they asked to see Abbott by the wall, right? Ah, I cannot wait. Damn it. That's not cool. Is there any other chair or anything nearby? Maybe it's like the chair problem. Hmm. Hey, have it. Got work to do. Mm. What can we they do now? The Boston Commons got some crazy bird living in it. Eh? Or something. Oh, if you're talking about Swan, I'll. I'll pretend I did not hear anything about it, okay? So what can we do here? Hmm? I wanna clear things with Abbott and then maybe wait for the night and then leave the place. If you're heading outside the wall, you might want to stock up the Commonwealth weaponry first. Abbott. Got work to do. Really? You're just painting a wall, dude. I mean, I'm not saying that painting a wall is not a decent occupation or anything. Diamond City surplus, everything you need. Still painting, and I'm pretty much sure he will tell me that he's still busy. Busy. Hey, have it. Don't need to be bothered. Busy. This is getting highly irritating. Let's see. Need to be bothered. Abbott. Got work to do. Don't need to be bothered. Well, it's almost night anyway. 
So we will wait a couple more hours, see how uh, he will respond. Maybe he will uh, leave the wall. That would be that would be ideal. Got work to do. You just finished it. it. Busy. Don't need to be bothered. Okay, I'm thinking. See? As if nothing happened. Abbott. Got work to do. Okay, okay, sorry. You're going home, right? Hey, Abbott. Don't need to be bothered. Pretty much sure he's just heading home. Got work to do. Um, okay, I give up on you, dude. So. We have some quests. Also some quests. And another quest, okay. Um, let's see. Find Nick Valentine, explore the combat zone. So yeah, this is the bigger Boston, and I might want to go there, because, uh, as I mentioned in the previous episode, this area is packed with different locations. Each of them has one collectible or another. And it, I was struggling a lot trying to navigate myself around here, but I narrowed it down to just a single, well, not single, two locations that I need to visit that have important bobbleheads for me. Uh, other than that, I guess we will just uh, see how it will all go. Um, right now, I think that uh, those three are way out of my uh, course, because I might consider going further into Boston. The same is unfortunately is with uh, Bintown Brewery. Uh, so right now, I think we will be exiting the Diamond City. And we will be heading to uh, Black stuff. Raiders Apparel. We shall see about this cam deal, shall we? Ghouls like to hide in the dark. Makes night patrol a real fright vest. Keep moving, Scabber. That's exactly what I'm busy with.
didn't see anyone up yet. just ahead. There's always four Morowski's goons. Trish, who's in charge, and then three other guys to unload the boat and wave their guns around. You should be able to work your way around these buildings to get a good angle on them. I'll wait for the shooting to start, then join in from here. Remember, we can't afford to let anybody get away. What about Nelson? I'll deal with Nelson. You worry about Morowski's crew. Now, are we all set? You first. I'll back you up. Okay, but don't leave me hanging. Even I might have trouble taking them all out by myself. I cannot speak with Curie. That is not good. What's that? I think you have more immediate problems. Wait, I can help you. This here, this is nothing compared to what's at Morowski's chem lab. What's at this chem lab? More chems than you can imagine. Morowski's entire stash. But you'll never find it without my help. Tell me what you know first. Well, okay. I'm trusting you, right? The lab is in the old Forley fish packing plant, on the waterfront in South Boston. Let's hear about all the security. The place is overrun with feral ghouls, which don't even look twice at my crew, because they're all ghouls like me. My idea, by the way. Smart. I assume there's more to it than getting past the ferals. You assume right. The real security is a system of tripwires that have to be triggered in exactly the right order to open the door to the lab. You never even know the lab was there when the door is closed. So how do I get in without hitting all the tripwires? With a password, which I can give you. There's a terminal that will bypass the tripwires and open the door to the lab. So, I have your promise, right? If I give you the password, you let me walk? I'll definitely kill you if you don't tell me. You bastard. Mm, I guess I gotta trust you. The password is Applejack. There! Now you've got everything, and I've got completely screwed forever. Yes. I hope you can live with that. Sorry, Trish. I... So that's that. I told you it was no problem. The money should still be on Nelson's body. And then there's these chems, which you'll need to sell somehow. But that's your problem now. I'm leaving town, for good. Should make things easier for Paul to have me gone. 
Plus, there's no plausible way I could explain to Morowski how I wasn't involved in this unless I die here along with everyone else. Good luck, Cook. I hope it works out for you. Don't you worry about me. I've been planning this move for a while. I'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, we do have quite a lot of cams around here, that's right. Have you found something interesting? Some trigomans. Black vest and slacks. Give some endurance, by the way. Trisha's note. Pa, 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 pa. Okay, that's uh, the three players that I need to trigger, right? Oh, thank you for that. Your residence key, almost a thousand of um, uh, caps. Sunglasses, what do they give? Perception. I believe this is like the Black Raiders apparel, right? Oh, Backstreet apparel. Oh, alright. Um, did I not have some kind of quest? Time you got. <laughs> yeah, I have Psst. a few. What do you want? Stay there. I shall make this a priority. Before I met Clutch, me and a couple friends found a young kid on the north side of the Charles. He wasn't that young, probably around 18 or so. Anyway, after hanging out with him for a while, it started to get dark, so I built a fire. I kid you not. As soon as I lit the first match, the kid screams, What are you doing? and knocks the match out of my hand. <laughs> Out of your head? What the? No one was here. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. No one is here. You're still gonna check oh, it, right? I know you're here. I'll find you. Maybe not. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. No you sign of trust now. me. Carlisle typewriter. 
Should I be interested in this one, I wonder? These things are advanced. Second, let's start with this. Got it. Round, around, money, and a shell. Now we can switch to this. Nice. Okay. from here. Ha! Huh. Teddy bear reading, uh, teddy bear re uh, reading a newspaper. Do we have anyone else around here? That's how it's done, right? Oh, we have uh, we have more here. Nice. And that's how you do it. Let's go and try to find uh, anyone else in here. But no, I, I think this area might be clear now. Yes. Um, now that I'm thinking about my quests, by the way. Yes, this is also tied to a specific location. Just my mind was wondering that uh, this guy mentioned a uh, specific grove, right? Or a specific marsh. The point being, some very specific place. Hey, let's go. Please don't trigger the, the things, okay? Because that will ruin any opportunity of like well, any advantage of having a companion because if she's gonna trigger all the traps around me while well, I'm effortlessly just ignoring them well that's it that's just bad I 
I was also thinking that uh, for a stealth person, I am not taking. I'm not getting a lot of people. Uh, people boys. Uh, stealth boys. Which does not sound very good. It should be awfully bright outside. No, 12 a.m. is not 12 p.m. Help or mayday or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. I think the super mutants plan on eating me soon. I'm sending this to repeat. Ah, oh, shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming! Help! Or... Mayday, or whatever it is! Where was this one? Okay. Also in the middle of uh, Boston. Now, I am looking for my way back to the Diamond City. I might be getting slightly lost in the alleyways. But I believe that in general I maintain a good direction. Because I would like to submit my quest uh, to Paul. I would also like to investigate uh, Mortimer's uh, residency. It was Mortimer, right? On Nelson. The chem dealer. Like, he's not a dealer, he's like... You understand who I'm talking about, right? Move along. Gladly. By the way, we just uh, got a note, well not a note, a loading screen uh, tip or whatnot about uh, alien invaders and anything. Uh, did I leave uh, alien blaster in Vault 81? I think I did. Paul was here, but he was here during the day. Right. Yeah, it's true. I got shot in the ass last year. Long story. Now that's Codman's, but I think I saw this one somewhere nearby. Somewhere over here, maybe? I maybe should not have done this. This is very bad. Yeah, I know, I know. For some reason I thought the guy lives alone and how did you 
How did you fit a boat with a pool here? Christ almighty. No. I mean, I even have this one. Yo, psst. What do Hold. You Let's go. It is safe here, yes? Perhaps I got transported into backstreet apparel only because... Is that a pit boy? Get my left arm for one of those. <laughs> Uh, only because I made my last quick save over there. I wonder if I can sleep in uh, Perry's house by any chance. Selling papers is busy work, mister. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know... If you need anything proofread. All right, I wanna submit the quest to Paul. Let's get rid at least of uh, one of them, okay? is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. Nice pit boy. Could have landed my ass and dug out in immediately, right? I wanted so much more from my life than this. Ugh. Cook won't be bothering Darcy anymore. Good. I knew you could handle him. So, what happened? Did he give you any trouble? Nothing I couldn't handle. Okay. I don't care what you had to do. Just as long as he leaves Darcy alone from now on. Anyway, thanks for your help. I'll, uh, see you around. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. Things just got crazy. I can't believe he's actually dead. Oh, I didn't tell you that he's dead, right? Don't let my husband drag you into any of his nonsense. <clears throat> Paul and I have a child. I regret a lot of things. But not my little Pete. Now. I wanna wrap the episode. Um, I ain't your friend, Scava. But I think I will just do one last thing. Don't worry. You're safe from the sins here in Damn City. Um and then I will need to think how I wanna Damn proceed. Surplus is where you can sell all those scraps you've scavenged. Don't need to be bothered. Abbott. Got work to do. I will read about Abbott, that's for sure. Um, for now, I also would like to... Oh yeah, it has all of my saves. That's good. That will come in handy later. Um, yeah.
for now, I think we are more or less done with the Diamond City. Let's uh, check out the map because uh, uh, yeah, we have. Uh, why do I have this location? I wonder. Did I hear something? Did I have some quest over there? I don't know. But I need to visit this place. I need to visit this place and Bean Town Brewery, but they are all outside of town, more or less. So I am thinking that I would like to go further into the big Boston. Um, I would like to, uh, yeah, find a couple of locations that I have interest in. And then we might consider investigating this radio broadcast. We might consider exploring the combat zone. I, I am reserved about visiting the Swans Pond. But uh, we have something from the Freedom Trail and the Nick Valentine is close by and Good Neighbor is close by. There also might be good quests. And then like the Cabot House. Gain access to Marovsky Chem's lab. Is it still Diamond City Blues? Yes, it is. So, uh, yeah, and there is also the Minutemen over there, plus uh, the General Atomics factory where I might get something. Oh, okay, so my idea was to like go uh, east and then start taking a turn north, but I think we might make a detour to the south. I don't want to go far. I just like maybe want to visit like uh, the Minutemen, close up this quest. I certainly don't want to go somewhere very far away to Quincy, to Jamaica Plain. I don't want these places yet. Um, yeah, so maybe we will go east, detour, detour south, and then we will turn back and cover the rest of this area, turning uh, to the north and finishing in... Uh, Cabot's house, uh, and that uh, might be more or less like the plan for the nearest future. And those places, yeah, we'll, we'll deal with them later, I guess. Um, yeah, that was uh, that was uh, an overview of uh, upcoming activities. For now, once again, thank you for staying with me. I hope you enjoy my company and my gameplay. If that's the case, then by all means, leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, otherwise let me know down in the comments what I can improve for you. I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day out there, and bye.